Hello and welcome to round one back nine action of the 2024 St. Paddy's Sling brought to you by the Greater Oconee County Disc Golf Club. This event was held on the Sertoma Disc Golf Course Spicy Layout. Catch cam today we have Michael Baker. Walk through gimbal footage, Vern Wyant. And the commentary team today is Vern Wyant and Heath Rankin. On the card today, from Central South Carolina, Alex Durham. From Pickens, South Carolina, Lauren Fleeman. From Chester, South Carolina, Reed Ward. And from Seneca, South Carolina, Heath Rankin. Hole 10 is a par 3, 219 foot hole, but don't let that distance fool you. There's trees right in front of the tee box, to the left of the fairway, to the right of the fairway, and it is the hardest hole on the course. All you have to do is make it out here to this opening, and oh, by the way, the basket's on a slope. I think Reed's shaking it out here, because there's typically a backup on this hole, because it's just so tough. Yeah, this is a daunting gap to get through. I feel like it's especially hard for lefty backhand. It puts that uh, emoji tree right in the way. Mm -hmm. Where for a righty, you can kind of push the gap to the right more. All right, give us some background of this emoji sign. Whose idea was this and who put it up there? That is uh, Dennis. This is a guy that uh, cut this course in and designed it. Um, I'm not sure much of the story, but one day the emoji sign showed up. And <laughs> Adds character. Oh yeah. That's just left of the gap, but Shoot. it's actually not a bad spot to be. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh. Almost got him. Start paying him hazard pay. <laughs> Hey, this is another one of these 200 plus foot holes. You're like, oh man, on paper it's not that far, but you look at the gap. It's I, super tough. And you know, I do think the distance on this is wrong. Um, I wondered about that. Yeah, I don't think it's 219. I think it's about 289. Yeah. It's pushing more to the 300 side. And that was... That was a lot harder of a gap to hit, mm -hmm. so I'm I'm grateful for that shot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alex oh, throwing yeah. that great, great backhand. That is a tough shot. Reed going for a layup here. Mm -hmm. It's a great shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Alex with that putter, whether he's putting or throwing, is just money. Yeah. Larry doesn't like it, but it's still a great out from where he was. Yeah, no kidding. Just Pick a little the left. Yeah. This was not a great spot to be. It didn't matter. Able to knock that putt out, <laughs> so it took me eight holes to kind of get the putter going, <laughs> but that felt good to see that go in. Alex wasting no time there. Yeah, this is a scary pin to putt on because if something happens and you start going down that hill, the strokes will start adding up. Oh, yeah. You got that hazard back there, so... All right, hole 11 is a 322-foot uphill par 3. We didn't add too much spiciness to this because this hole is pretty difficult as it is, but to the right, the tall grass is hazard, so if you... Pushing a shot, trying to uh, reach the basket. It's easy to turn one over and land in the hazard. That's a great throw from Reed there. Mm -hmm. but he caught a limb there. Yeah, it seems like it's a good shape for a left-hand player. I think so. No. Mm. 
I know how good that was going to be, but that tree right there is right in the way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Alex is throwing a mid there past the basket. <laughs> wow. I don't know that mere mortals can, can think on that level. Now, is Alex pretty much throw all MVP? He's very close. That's been a slow transition, but I think Larry is throwing a Champ Glow Leopard 3 there, or Leopard. Mm -hmm. See, this is a tough spot. You don't want to be right here. I made that look pretty easy though, so yeah, no was, kidding. was happy about that upshot. Huh? I thought I heard someone say lobster roll. Reed's uh, thinking about lunch already. Lobster roll having there. That's a good upshot. This would be a great par save here. That's just sad. <laughs> Giving yourself a hard time there. I think if Alex wasn't up underneath that uh, that tree, he would have been right in chains. So if you see, Larry made the adjustment because he was missing left and it was just too right. And that's just frustrating. Something happened on another hole back there. I think that was the ladies' card. They were they were making some great putts. Oh man! Larry adjusted two left. He's he's <laughs> laughing it off. So am I. I'm trying to. We uh we're having the struggle on the putting green. Mm -hmm. And that is a really unfortunate double bogey there. Tapping Parker Reed. Hole 12, the spicy layout. You go back into the angle a little bit behind the regular tee, and then it's just a short downhill shot. But be careful not to go too far on it. If your throw comes in too hot, then you're going way down the hill. Yep, green light. This is a really touchy gap to hit here. It's a short hole, but it's touchy. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. yeah, Reed called it. He hit nothing through there. Yeah, I think if you're uh, throwing that little lefty flip up shot, you got to keep it a little lower. So hopefully you hit the ground a little earlier to slow mm -hmm. it down. Alex throws a great shot. A little right, but it's still a great shot. Great kick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he followed uh, Alex's line there, but he got the tree play. I think if they had a little more stable putter, stable disc, and get that little bit of flex. Mm -hmm. So you're throwing the berg here, right? Throwing the berg. So keeping it low like that is kind of what you want. Yeah. Almost hit the pole coming through. That's not a great place to be. It's a yeah. great bid. He was in jail back there. Alex trying to forehand putt. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but he was obstructed where he was. He didn't have a putt there. That's just such a weird miss for me. I just couldn't get it going. That's a great putt. Yeah, I believe you commented a couple times that uh, Tommy Patterson was... Yeah. 
giving you the eye here and there. Tommy he was, he was. He does a uh, catch cam for us sometimes. He was originally going to do catch cam, and then uh, he got in to try to play and wasn't able to get in. I bet he was licking his chops. Tommy grinning. Yeah, there. <laughs> Tommy laughing at me, missing that birdie. Tommy's another great player. He is fun to watch play. Mm -hmm. Larry with the drop in birdie there. All right, hole 13, um, uphill the whole way, 271 feet. You see this middle tree, that is just a huge obstacle when you're throwing off the tee. And also, if you look back behind the basket, you see the tall grass, that is hazard, so you wanna get this shot to check up short of the basket. I think Larry is throwing a buzz here. And that's a mistake. If you don't get it turned over enough, you're going to be left. Mm -hmm. It's not OB, but it is jail. Yeah, it feels like OB. Yeah. Looks like this is a great lefty backhand hole. Put her up there, big boy. Reed's hyping himself up a little bit. And that's that's that tree I'm talking about. And it just barely kissed off of it, but with that lefty shot, it just kicked too far to the left. Yeah. Okay, this is another one, 271 feet, but man, it plays much tougher than that. Yeah. Alex throwing that hex again. And that is a great shot. He's left of the basket, but I don't think he's in too much of trouble there. You throwing a hex too? Uh, this is the Crave. Okay. And that's a great shot as well. Mm -hmm. Reed going for the layup, catches a little limb. Yeah, he wasn't out of bounds, but he was not in a great spot either. <clears throat> this is what I'm talking about. You're just in jail here. You're just hoping to get that par. And Larry hits something right out of his hand. Some of that wind you were talking about earlier. Yep. So the wind's starting to pick up a little bit. That's that putt that I yeah. like to see go in. Good too. That's a great birdie to pick up. Alex for a birdie there. Incredible birdie. Yeah. Larry just having a tough day on the green. See, here's here's an example of that rhythm. Even on a short putt, he's taking his time. Yep. You don't want to rush those. He kind of reminds me a bit of a uh, Chris Dickerson. Mm -hmm. in, in the way he lines up putts and his routine. All right, hole 14. Another spicy one, longer than normal and more to the right than normal. Want to throw and make it land in the short grass here but you got to be very careful this thing can skip it can roll away and, and a good drive can be no bueno for you yeah as you can see from the tee here it is a complete blind shot you can't see the basket alex is going for a huge spike hyzer here Just gets it a little high and left. Mm -hmm. What do you throw here? Oh, no. I'm throwing the eagle, and that's oh, just low and right. But I had enough on it to get it inbounds. Mm -hmm. It might be happy. It starts down there. I think Reed is throwing a compass here. Oh, okay. I was wondering what he threw. To get it yeah, I think this is a compass. Down, this boy. is such a great shot. Oh, yeah. That would be a great ace. Um, 
He rolled a little long, but that is still a great shot. Mm -hmm. I think you want to keep this shot very low. Yeah. And hit the green a little early to slide up to the basket. That's the height. Why is it going that way? Larry's asking why. It's it just... As you see, he got in bounds, but that's not where you want to be. Mm -hmm. I like how you guys marked that because if you mark the trees out of bounds like double punishment, it's bad enough to be in the trees. It feels like it's out of bounds. Yeah, we, we put a lot of thought into this, and we didn't want to punish players. Like, that would be a punishing bogey there mm -hmm. just to get out. That's a, a good par. I'm okay with the bid. That was not a great spot to be. Mm -hmm. This is an obstructed putt here, but a great bid. Oh, sit down. You know, if that tree wasn't in his way, that would have he'd have probably canned that putt. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't sure what players were gonna, you know, how they were gonna feel about this layout, but I heard a lot of good feedback. Yeah, and so same. that was encouraging. Because this is just a beautiful course. It's fun to play. Mm -hmm. But I think the added challenge for the on the spicy layout just makes it fun. This yeah, I think we should note, too, that not all players played it. Like the MS60s and ladies play it. All right, hole 15, 187 foot uh, downhill. This to me is one of those got to get holes, but you got trees on the left, there's a big clump, and uh, you can see on the, the right and the left, you see two big clumps of trees. You just gotta hit this gap straight and low. And uh, Alex just makes it look too easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, standing at the tee pad of this angle right here, it's really tough to envision this being a straight shot, but it absolutely is. Oh yeah. It looks like it goes to the left and to the right, and it doesn't. You can trick yourself into throwing some sort of a weird mm -hmm. S type shot. Yes. And if you just throw a straight putter like Alex did. Yep. And just keep it low. Unless you're trying to ace run, just keep it low and you'll slide up to the basket. Mm -hmm. See, here's that low shot that slides up. That's exactly what you want. Mm hmm. Through a little left. <laughs> Great tree kick. I've seen this putt more often than not, somebody over here. Yep. <clears throat> That's the result of throwing a little too high. And uh, you're going to fade out left. And these trees are big. They're hard to get around. Uh, I thought that was in. Uh, I did too. I, th I feel like Reed didn't take his full uh, time there yeah, and get his rhythm. <laughs> I think if he would have, you know, took his time there, he could have canned that one. Alex making that birdie look easy. Good birdie. Right, hole 16, 173 foot, par 3 uphill. This one is a tough one. It's got a lot of trees in the way. It's a pretty specific shot shape, too. <clears throat> it's Alex that putter again. Yeah. Usually if you see Alex grab that putter, you're about to see a great shot. Yep. Great shot. Thank you. He's definitely in the circle. Got a good putt there. What is that putter he keeps throwing? It's a, I think it's a PA2 mm. or PA3. I think it's a PA2 though. I think this is a Earhart zone. Mm -hmm. I'm throwing the watt here, trying to get a floaty backhand up there. Yeah. Uh, ooh, I kinda 
came back a little bit. Hit a tree, but I think it kicked okay. Got a putt. I think this also shapes up a good lefty uh, backhand. It's a yep. great spot to be. Yeah, if you're on this left side, this putts. This is a hard putt to have because you got to putt through the trees. Uh, I really thought that he had that one. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate. Good too. That was a confident looking putt. You know, even if you're having a bad round, it's it's never too late for a birdie. It always feels good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alex making it look easy. Good correction from the last hole. Yep. I know Larry is disappointed. Hole 17. Now this play is extremely difficult from the long spicy pad. All this tall grass is hazard and the gap is very small from the long tee. Bunch of trees down here. You just want to get something a little low. Hopefully check up around the green. Now, unfortunately, I don't know what happened. If I was daydreaming, but I forgot to record the tee shots. But thank goodness, catch cam, Michael Baker had them. Look at that shot by Alex come in there. It's incredible. I see. I, I'm pretty sure my shot was great. I just got it turned over a bit much. Let's read right down the gullet here. This is a great shot. That's that's a perfect place to be. Like I said, this gap is small from the tee. Mm. And you're throwing over hazard the whole way, so it just mentally will get in your head. And as you can see, if you're slightly off the fairway, it's just, it's kind of jail. This hole, spicy or not, can hurt your feelings. Oh, yeah. Because even if you're right here, you think, oh, it's just a pitch up. But man, with the slope that the basket's on, bad things can happen. Yeah. He just got that little nose up. But this is a great roll. <laughs> hey, listen to him. So I'm early and right, and it's just, this is still jail right here. Check up there. Yeah. This is definitely a bonus birdie hole. Mm-hmm. Reed putting for two here. Boom. That's a great putt. Way to check his rhythm, make sure he's ready to make that putt. Oh, yeah. Solid putt there. Yeah, that's a good par. Alex with a great birdie too. Two birdies on this hole. That's got to make the rating good on this one. Yeah. Unfortunate double bogey for Larry there. Hole 18, and final hole, 221 feet. Um, you got to miss that tree right off the tee pad, and then you've got this gap here. But don't go at it too strong, or otherwise you get the OB Creek all along the left-hand side, behind the basket. Was Alex back to the watt? Yep, yeah, this is the watt. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Just a great shot. Yeah, what a way to close out the round. Well, this is also a hole that it's it is dead straight off the tee. So the straight putter shot is the way to go. It's 
Looks like Reed's also throwing a putter. Yes, sir. Throwing a P1. This is one of the old James Conrad AVRs I'm throwing here. Oh, wow. Super straight beat in. Just a little left, but got a putt there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Larry going with the forehand. Um, you can hear how close the creek is there. Yeah, we're right on the creek. Just right. But a good kick back in the fairway. Larry just laying up his par here. Mm hmm. Reed left some meat on the bone here. This is a scary putt if you're going to run this because the creek is right behind the basket. And that's a great bid. Mm -hmm. And that's just low. Out of the hand, I thought that was in. Reed finishing the round with a par. Dropping his birdie in to finish the round. Mm -hmm. Took everybody a little bit to get started, but it did. There's some good rounds here. Alex shooting a six down, 973. Reed is right on his tail, 961, five down. And uh, you and Larry get a little bit of work to do, but I think you guys are good, both good players, and make some things happen in the back in the uh, round two. Yeah. We'll see you then.